Hey, what is going on guys? So today I'm going to show you how you can screen mirror any Android phone. It doesn't matter if you have a Samsung Galaxy S1 or S2, S3, even if you have a Samsung uh, budget phone like a J7 or J2 or J3, even the Pixel 1, the Pixel 2, any of your older phones, it doesn't matter as long as it's an Android phone and you have a home Wi-Fi internet connection. I'll show you how all that works in one second, but first you need to get a device such as a Chromecast device. It doesn't matter if you get the first generation, second generation, or the third generation. They, they all work the same. It's just that the later generations are a little bit more efficient, but even the Chromecast first generation I still use, you can get this one for like $10 on eBay. The new third generation is about $30. Anyways, again, any Android phone, any year, even from like the year 2000, whatever, it just does not work on iPhones. Sure. Now you'll be able to screen mirror your phone to any TV, even a computer monitor, or even a projector, as long as it has a HDMI port. The first thing is you have to make sure you have your Chromecast plugged into your TV. You plug this part into the HDMI port, and you also need to give it power. So let me plug that in here. And this is a USB here. You can connect it to any USB outlet, or if you use the brick here, you can plug it into a wall outlet. I have a USB port in the back of my TV, so I'll just use it just like this. Now, now I'm gonna go ahead and hook this up to my TV here, but remember, it doesn't matter if it's a TV, even if you have like a projector, as long as it has an HDMI port, even if you have a regular computer monitor, this one here has an HDMI port, you'll be able to screen mirror your Android phone. Anyways, here is my TV here, and I'm just gonna plug this into any HDMI port. I'll just guess one. How's that right there? I also need to give it power. I do have a USB port in the back of my TV right here. Let me plug that into here. Okay, it has power. We're ready to go. So the first thing is I have to make sure I'm on the correct HDMI port. I'm gonna to go to HDMI one. I think that's where the Chromecast is. I'm gonna go ahead and press on enter here. Okay, so this is the Google Chromecast home screen. Now the thing is, when you hook it up to the back of your TV or any device that has an HDMI port, what you have to do next is grab your Android phone and you need to download this app right here, this Google Home app. Then you need to set it up. I'm not going to show you how to set it up, but I have another video in the link description below to show you how to set it up. Now a very important thing to mention is that you need to have a Wi-Fi internet connection. So after you set up your Chromecast to hook up to your Wi-Fi home internet connection, you have to make sure that your Android phone is on the same exact Wi-Fi network as well. Right now, I set up my Google Chromecast for the Wi-Fi here in this office. The thing is, I can go ahead and screen mirror now with the Android phone, but I can also unplug that Google Chromecast right now and plug it into another TV as long as I'm on the same Wi-Fi network. I can plug it into another TV, another projector, another computer monitor. It doesn't matter. I'll be able to screen mirror right away because I already have the Google Chromecast hooked up to the Wi-Fi network. The next thing you wanna do is go ahead and open up the Google Home app on the Android phone that you downloaded. So here's mine right here, it says Home. I'm gonna tap on that. And then from here, I'm gonna go ahead and tap on Settings on the bottom right hand side. And now, if I look down here, it says Mirror Device. So if I tap on that, this is perfectly fine. I can go ahead and click on OK. And Office TV 2 is a name that I gave it on my Chromecast. So I'll go ahead and click on that. It says Connecting right now. And voila, we are in business. Everything that is on your Android phone is going to be relayed to the big screen TV exactly how it is on your phone. So if I go to the home screen here on my Android phone here, doesn't matter what you do. You can play games. You can open up apps. You can show documents on the big screen. You can show your videos and photos that are stored locally on the phone. Let me click on a browser here. So right now you can see that it is in portrait mode. Of course, you can flip it over to landscape mode as well. And I'll go ahead and scroll down. Let me go ahead and focus into the TV. You can see how nice and crisp that image is as well. Now the thing is, there is small latency, okay? So when I move up, it takes a split second for the TV to move as well. So if you're playing like any kind of graphic intensive games, I would not recommend it. Let's do this too. Let's go ahead and look at some photos and videos. Let me go ahead and open up my camera here. And we can see you have a live view right here. Exactly how my phone looks, my TV looks, okay? So I can go ahead and take a picture here. Let me go ahead and take a uh, photo here. I'll take a photo right here and I'll show it to you guys. So there's a photo and let me go ahead and do a quick video here. Testing, one, two, three. 
Testing, one, two, three, four. I'm gonna go ahead and stop it and let's go ahead and look at those images. I'll simply go into my gallery here, right there, and we'll see those. I'll show you the video first right here. Turn this into landscape mode. I'll press on play. Now the Testing. volume, one, two, three. The volume and everything is gonna come from the TV, not the phone. And I'll show you that photo as well that I took right here. As you can see, I can zoom in and out. Let me turn this over. And you can see all the, uh, and you can see some other phones laying here on my desk. Just like that. Anyway, and there you go. Pretty simple solution if you want to be able to screen mirror your Android phone to your TV or any other device that has an HDMI port. Again, the thing is, you must have a Wi-Fi internet connection. And both devices, the Google Chromecast and your Android phone, must be on the same exact Wi-Fi network. Well, there you guys go. Hope that helped you guys out. And I will see you in the next one.